my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me What's up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number 118 on the different screens here So I'm looking around, if you have any Want to jump into conversation, questions, comments, put them below. I could see the Instagrams right here. Steve says episode number 118. Today, we are going to be talking about a secret. A secret to figure out what's missing. A lot of times you go through life and you think you can't figure out what's missing. There's a missing piece. I'm going to give you the secret on how to figure out what that missing piece is in your life, in all areas of life personal, professional, in your mind, your body, your business. That's what we're going to dig into here in just a second. But first here, you know every week on Steve Says, you know that we are going over the stuff not necessary that you want to hear, but this is the shit that you need to hear. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no excuses badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. This is focused on the mind, the body, and your business on how to have a role model mindset, how to operate to dominate, operate to dominate, OTD, with discipline energy, confidence, being an action taker, a risk taker, a move maker, and being your freak fucking self. That's what this is all about. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about, we're going to talk about the missing piece, how to discover, how to figure out what is your missing piece. What's the missing piece for you in different areas of life? That's what we're going to break down here. And I, I, I found, I figured this out because I found myself a lot of times searching, always searching. I'd get to, it'd be, it'd come time for journaling. And I'm doing my regular journaling where it's specific questions that I'm, uh, prompts that I'm going through. And then I, would, I have a second journal. I call it the freak form journal. It's where it's just blank pages and it's where some wild fucking thoughts just start going. And I'll just start writing and, and, the, and the pen just hits the fucking paper and some crazy shit comes out. Sometimes some psycho shit comes out. Sometimes some weird shit comes out. Sometimes some freaky shit comes out. Sometimes some new fucking million dollar ideas come out. But a lot of times I realized it was coming back to it. It was asking myself, what's the missing piece? What's the missing piece? Like, what am I missing in this game, in fucking life, in my mindset, in my fucking training, in business? What was the missing pieces? And I'm going to break all that down for you in a second. You know, I'm not going to give you that shit, that shit to you that fucking easy. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. What was missing? Well, before we even get to that, I just want to talk about as you're figuring this stuff out, as you're, as you're moving through this fucking life, you should be journaling. If you're not reflecting, if you're not looking back on how things went and, and scoring yourself on shit, you're fucking up. You should be doing it. I know a lot of people talk about it, a lot of people say it, but I guarantee you, most people that talk about like journaling, meditating, and mindfulness, and all this other shit, they are not dedicated. And I mean dedicated as in seven days a week. I mean dedicated as in seven days a week, every morning and every night, and even in the middle of the day when you need to be brought back to center, brought back into the green, if you know what that is, if you, don't, if you know what that means. If not, that'll be for another day. Staying in the green basically means having emotional resiliency to bounce back to the middle, to have emotional discipline, which is why... There's the green color in this operate to dominate is OTD, which is why it's, it's aiming towards the sky. It's a fucking spear. It's an arrow. The fucking sky is limited. It's heading up. It's green. It's staying in the green. It also happens to be the fucking color of money. So that can't hurt either. But what's the missing piece? Before we do that, as you're doing journaling and stuff like that, think about, think about realizing how little you fucking know, even how little you know about yourself. You should be constantly getting to know yourself, getting to know yourself better, getting to know your situation better, getting to know life better, getting to know the fucking universe better. Like, don't be a fucking know-it-all. Don't be a know-it-all. There's a difference, like having wisdom. I talk about it all the time, wisdom and knowledge and reading and all this stuff that you do. If you don't put it back out into the world and start teaching it, 
Start teaching the shit you're learning or the things you're reading about and putting it back out in the universe and actually putting it into action and implementing shit and just letting your notes and thoughts and knowledge and wisdom just collect dust on a fucking shelf. You're just holding all that knowledge and information and wisdom prisoner and hostage in your fucking head. You're doing a disservice to the world. You're doing a disservice to the people around you. You're doing a disservice to yourself. You're going to learn it better by implementing it, by putting it out in the universe, by teaching other people. That's how you're going to develop future leaders. That's how you're going to be a role model to the people around you. That's how you're going to develop your kids. That's how you're going to be a role model to your your family, to your team, to your clients, to the fucking world, to your neighbors, to fucking strangers. So that is, is, is part of leading into what's fucking missing. And this is going to be real quick and short and dirty because just like, like the, the book, what's the, the secret, right? The secret, the secret. I talk about a lot, the secret. Really, that book really only needed to be that it's like a one pager. That's really what this is going to be. This missing piece is a secret and it is a one pager, but it's also going to require some something that the secret is missing and that is action. But that's not the missing piece. The missing piece is not necessarily action. But it, it I, I did want to lead into it by saying that when you're journaling, when you're, when you're learning, when you're reading, when you're studying, and you can read all the, read, you can read the Bible, you can read some daily, you know, those daily 365 day a, a, a week books where you're getting this motivational, you're getting fucking inspired for the day and all this other stuff. But if you're just reading it and then going on with your day and being the same fucking nervous wreck that you were making the same mistakes and same poor decisions as you were, what was the fucking point? If you're not teaching it to someone else, if you're not implementing shit, if you're not making moves and taking big risks and putting that shit back out into the fucking universe, what a motherfucking waste. What a waste. And what a shame. And shame on you if you're doing that. Shame on you. You are not operating to dominate. You are not skyrocketing to the top. You are not the tip of the fucking spear or arrow, whatever. OTD. Operate to dominate. That's what this is about. What is the missing piece so you can operate to dominate in your mind, your body, your business, personally, professionally, in all areas of life? Now, this is something I, this is like something that gets twisted up in my own fucking head. So you're going to have to stay with me and just follow this. And if this resonates with you, then you'll get it. And if, if you're one of those standoffish uh, know-it-alls, this is not going to make any sense to you. This makes, to me, the way that we're going to talk about this missing piece makes fucking perfect sense to me. And it doesn't sound, if you were to transcribe probably the way I'm about to spit this out, it wouldn't make sense. But it fucking makes sense to me and up here. Really, that's all that matters. That's what matters. And if, if, if it just connects with one of you, with one of you, and helps you out to figure out that missing piece, it was well fucking worth it. So... Let's jump into it. The missing piece. Now, just bear with me and just follow along. Focus. Clear your fucking head. Block out all distractions so you can take this in. It's only going to take a few minutes. But this is going to be some other level shit that, that listen, this is when it's, it's, it's either the middle of the day or sometimes late at night or late at night on the weekend when it's just like, fuck, what, where, what is next? What's next? What's the missing piece? And I sit down, lock the door in my office, and just zone out with an empty fucking page in the book with a good ink pen and just start fucking rolling. And this is the kind of shit that comes out and it fucking clicks. It helps flip the switch to get to that next level, to figure out what is the missing piece. Because we often think, what's the, what's the missing piece? What's next? Where do I go to from? Where do I go to from here? So, Let's start off with this by saying the missing piece is the fucking missing piece. Yeah, wrap your head around that one. And I'll explain. I'll explain and we'll dig a little deeper into that. But the missing piece is the fucking missing piece. I know it sounds, stu- it, it sounds fucking stupid. Well, it'll start clicking. It'll start making sense. For my freaks out there, this will start making sense. And for everyone else, just, re- I don't know, play it backwards and, and maybe you'll fucking figure out what, it, what, it, what I'm trying to say. But the search for the missing piece is what's missing that 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 space that space the the right fucking now like this moment spent on searching for what's already there yeah wrap your head around that shit the missing piece is this fucking minute now if i'm searching for this minute somewhere else i'm gonna miss this fucking minute i'm gonna miss this present fucking moment 
If I'm searching for it and looking for it somewhere out there, what's next? What's the missing piece? What do I have to go and do later and out there? I'm going to miss right now. Make sense? Make sense? Well, it makes sense to me. Just keep following along. The missing piece is this fucking second right now, this present moment, this, this fucking gift of a present moment that the universe is giving you, letting you fucking breathe again. Another second. That's why we say, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. Not every other second. Not later when we find it. Don't find the missing fucking fire. It's bring the fucking fire every second of every second. And if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And I've realized, I've, I've always said, when I would be journaling, I'd say, what's the missing piece? I said, I know the missing piece is there. I could taste it. I could feel it. I just don't know what it, what it is. And I've been saying, bring the fucking fire every second of every second. I've been saying, if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. I've been saying, no excuses, never make any, never accept any for literally decades. Fucking decades. Those right there bundled up together are the missing piece. Saying, you don't have to go and get on your A game because you're already on it. Bring the fucking fire every second, like right now, this fucking minute, this gift that the universe or whatever religion or God or whatever you believe in that gave you this extra fucking second, that is the missing piece. And the problem why you're missing it and the problem why you're always searching for what's next, what what do I got to do next? You're missing it because you're missing it right now. You're in some other far off fucking land. You can't find something that you're looking for that doesn't exist. It doesn't exist because you're looking for it. It's fucking already here. It's already there. It's already in you. It's already in this fucking second, this fucking moment. If you're looking for something that doesn't exist, you're always going to be searching for it. What's next? What's next? What's next? What about what's right now, motherfucker? What about that? What are you going to do later today? What are you going to do the rest of the day? What are you going to do right this fucking minute? That's the missing fucking piece, this moment. And the problem is, you're blinded, and shit, I'm saying all this because this is me, for I'm talking months or years of literally writing on this and journaling on it till it finally fucking clicked. The missing piece causes you to miss the piece that's missing. Yeah, that's some fucking tongue twister. That's some freak shit right there. I'll repeat that. You're, you're blinded because the missing piece causes you to miss the piece That's missing. You're searching for the missing piece. I'm searching, searching, searching. While you're doing that, it's here. Now it's gone and you fucking lost it. You will never find it because it was already there. It was here, right fucking here. And now it's gone. You can't find what's fucking gone forever. You lost it. You lost your chance. You're fucking up and missing those opportunities. They're missing the opportunities to bring the fucking fire this second, not later. You're going to bring it later when that second gets here, when you get to that second. But as you're doing that, you're missing the fucking opportunity to bring the fucking fire this second right now. And you will forever be searching if you're searching for some shit that's already fucking gone. Some shit that's already there. You're going to be forever fucking searching. And you missed it. So guess what? You're always going to be missing it. You think it's missing, so you're always going to be missing it because you're always going to be searching for it because it doesn't exist because you fucking wasted it and it's gone. What's missing is at really what you missed, it's not even missing, you missed it, is the fucking present, is this second right now, you missed it, because you're too busy searching, too busy reaching and thinking, and all these fucking ideas, and the idea fair, and what you're going to do next, what you have to work on next, so what you need to do, is fucking slow down, slow the fuck down, yeah, I'm telling you to slow down, yeah, this is me slowing down, think of, you hear, you hear about flow state, right, slow down, fucking freeze, This is like the freak form of time travel. Slow down, freeze, capture that motherfucker. Capture that motherfucker, use it and weaponize it. Weaponize this fucking second. Weaponize your fire, weaponize your energy right now. Not planning for what's next, what's missing, what else do I have to do? What you have to do is fucking step the fuck up right now. That's it. Deal with this fucking minute right now. That's what you have to do right now. Weaponize your time. Weaponize your fucking energy. Weaponize the universe right now in this second because if you don't, you'll be searching for it forever. It'll be gone. You'll never fucking find it. I, this is a big fucking circle jerk and it's probably you're, you're, you're thinking it makes no sense. Go, go, you go journal on this shit and I guarantee it'll start making sense. Slow the shit down. Capture it. Fucking weaponize it. And you will never have to search for what's missing ever again because you will always fucking have it right here, right fucking now. You will always fucking have it. Because you know what? You have always had it. And I always had that feeling. I said, I always said, I know whatever's missing, I could feel it, I could taste it. It's like right there in my fucking gut. I know it's there. 
But I couldn't figure out what it was because I was always searching for it. By the time you find it, it's fucking gone. Missed opportunities. Wasted fucking time. Wasted life. Wasted energy. Think about it. Stop fucking wasting your entire life going and searching and searching and searching. And just step the fuck up. Have some other fucking patience. When shit starts, you start worrying about what's going to happen later. You know what? What's going to happen tomorrow? Whatever's fucking in front of you. I'll figure that shit out. I'll fucking deal with that beast tomorrow. Right now, bitch, go stand over there, motherfucker. I'll deal with you when I get you. I'll deal with you on my fucking terms. The, the, the missing piece is that you're not going all the fuck out. That you're not all in right now in this minute. That you're not standing up. That you're not standing out. That you're not exploding into this fucking moment. Into this task. This time block that you're on right now. This fucking second. That's the missing piece. That's why you're always searching and you will ever, forever be fucking searching. You're wasting time and you're wasting effort and energy. You're wasting your fucking emotions, your thoughts. You're wasting your days, wasting your experiences. You're wasting opportunities. You're wasting fucking minutes. You're wasting motherfucking seconds. You're wasting fire. You're wasting the fucking universe. You're wasting the fucking life. That's what you're doing. You're wasting the now for the later or you're wasting the now for the yesterday. And it's fucking stupid. And that's why you're always searching for it. You're searching for yesterday. Oh, I used to do this. Oh, I used to be like this. I used to make this much money. I used to whatever, whatever, whatever. Or I'm going to do this. Or I need to go do this. Or I should be doing this. Motherfucker, if you should be doing it, you'd be doing it right now. All that, listen, listen. All that fear and doubt and procrastination and boo fucking who. Poor little me from fucking 10, 20, 30 years ago. Get the fuck over it. Put on your big boy pants. And stop wasting your fucking fire. Stop wasting your fucking fire. Wasting the now for the later. It's right now. Explode into the experience of this fucking minute. This second. Explode into the experience of the fire of right now. Over there, tomorrow, later, the other thing, the next thing, whatever's next after this. That shit can go over there. Go over there and wait. Till I'm ready to go fucking dominate that too. So I get to that. I'm not at that yet because you know what? I'm on this right now. I will deal with you later, motherfucker, when I want on my terms. That's what's going to happen. You need to focus more. You need to reflect more. You need to write more. You need to read more. You need to step the fuck up more. You need to stand up more. You need to stand out more. You need to fucking do more. And you need to explode into the fucking fire of right now. That's what you need to do. And yeah, this is me slowing down. This is slowing down. So also what's missing in this whole picture, all right, is, is, not, is, the, is the fire of right now. Of right fucking now. Quit the search. Quit the, quit the, 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 call out the search parties for what's missing, for what's next, for what you should be doing. Oh, I don't know. I, I hear it all the time. I don't know what I should do next in my business. I don't know how to get new clients, whatever. What's missing is the right now, the fire of right now, the violence of right now, the aggression of right now, the weaponizing of right fucking now, weaponizing of the life and the breath and the fucking fire you have in you right now. What's missing is the attack. What's missing is the rage. Learning how to control the rage. You have all your addictions and your vices and your fucking stories and all this other stuff that distracts you and makes you neglect right fucking now. You sit out there and search for the next fucking big thing. What are you, what's missing? You'll be searching for money, searching for a piece of ass, whatever the hell you're out there searching for. If you took all that energy that you spent searching into all those things and put just a fraction of that and fucking weaponized it, into right fucking now, what you need to be doing right now, there'd be no missing pieces fucking ever. There'd be no more boredom. There'd be no more, no more anger, no more uncertainty, no more fear, no more doubt. You'd be slowing down to speed the fuck up. That's what you'd be doing. You'd have complete control. You'd be strategizing and weaponizing so you could fucking maximize and monetize that shit. It's the value of the minute over the value of the fucking dollar, over the value of your addictions and, 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 your, and your fucking sob stories and all this other shit. Now, yeah, there, sure, there's, of course, depression and anxiety and all this and mental illness, but I'll tell you what, 99% of people that use that just use that as a fucking scapegoat to be lazy on other shit because right now it's too fucking scary. So let me make some fucking excuses about 50 years ago or about 50 years from now so I don't have to fucking deal with right now. How about you deal with right now? Fucking nut up or shut up. Stop saying fuck me and say fuck yeah. 
oh, fuck me, this happened to me. No, fuck yeah, this happened to me, and now I'm here, I'm still here, motherfucker, and I'm going to own this fucking minute. That's a missing piece. That's a fucking missing piece. Knowing, no, listen, you can, again, back to, and, and that's why we're bringing this full circle, back to the beginning, the wisdom and the, the knowledge you just keep prisoner in your head. Knowing how to, knowing what, how to act, even knowing what you should be doing is one thing. But being a, uh, activating your freak mode is actually fucking doing it right now. That's why the, the term that I use all the time is kill. Like kill the procrastination, kill the fear, kill the doubt, kill the delay, kill the distractions. Because that's all what is making you keep searching and searching and searching for what's missing. What's missing is you removing the distractions. You removing the delay. You removing the doubt, the fear, the procrastination. Those are all bullshit. They're all fucking excuses. So quit that shit because it ain't cool. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's just going to have you keep circling, circle jerk, and all this bullshit about what's missing, what's next. Oh, I got to work. I got to figure this out. Figure this out. Motherfucker, figure it out by realizing you're wasting fucking time and just get to it right fucking now. That's what's fucking missing. The fucking power of this fucking second. The fire of this second. The violence of this second. Weaponize it. Weaponize your time. Weaponize your energy. Weaponize the fucking fire in you and stop using it for all this other dumb bullshit and all your vices and all your addictions and all whatever else you're into. Waste your fucking time. Waste your life. Waste of your time means it's a waste of your energy. If it's a waste of your energy, it's a waste of your fire and your fucking life. Weaponize that shit. Learn to weaponize all that instead of use it as a fucking crutch and something to hold you back and an excuse to wait. That's a fucking missing piece. Now take all that, jumble that all together and figure it out. Makes sense to me, motherfucker. Makes sense to me. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Let's freaking talk about it. I want to hear about it. I want to hear what you, what you got out of this. What you see is the missing piece. And it's not just simply take action. It's a lot much deeper than say, oh, just to take action. It's deeper than that. It's the whole way your twisted mind is warped up and all kinds of rest of the shit in the world. The delay and the, the bullshit and the excuses and the distractions and what you're really searching for. You ain't searching for the fucking higher calling. You're searching for a fucking porn scene or something. Who knows what? Get your shit together. Quit bullshitting. It's time to fucking operate to dominate. Fly to the top. Stay in the motherfucking green. Control your shit. And fucking weaponize it. Weaponize it. Everything that's been holding you back. All the bullshit stories you're telling yourself. Learn to weaponize it. That's how you turn a suffering to a superpower. Make that shit happen. Let's talk about it. Put a comment, po comments down below. Or just send me a private message. I want to hear what you have to say about this. About this whole missing piece. About this search for what's next thing. I want to hear what you have to say about it. Let's talk about it. Send me a message. I got to get rolling. I will talk to you later. In case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.